so far, our precious data has only been sent and received through physical wired connections. But in this chapter, we'll be taking a look at how to use some of the wireless abilities of the Pico W to do some really cool things. Things like connecting the Pico to the internet and controlling it with a computer over a Wi-Fi connection. Now this world of microcontrollers and wireless connectivity may be a little bit different to what you're expecting. We aren't going to be able to watch YouTube video on the Pico at all. Not even close, this hardware will not let us. Instead, we can use wireless networks and the internet to send or receive text-based data. Think more so along the lines of using the Pico to make a smart Wi-Fi controlled light or a wireless mailbox sensor or connecting the Pico to the internet to get real-time coordinates of the International Space Station. Now this might sound a little difficult and we have definitely moved from beginner level skills to more intermediate, but thanks to the use of libraries, even these really cool complex tasks are really easy to do on our Pico. It's again really amazing how we can do so much with so little and simple code. This chapter is kind of one big video that we've split up into smaller ones in that every video kind of builds on the last one as stepping stones to get to an end goal. We'll start by connecting the Pico to a local wireless network and then we'll use the internet to connect to some sites and pull some useful data from specific websites. Then we'll learn how to host a page on the Pico itself which we can then interact with through a phone or a computer to control the Pico. And then we'll learn how to set up a Wi-Fi access point on the Pico itself, which we can use to host that page. And all you need to follow along with this chapter is a Pico W or WH and a Wi-Fi network to connect to, which can be your home network or even a mobile hotspot from your phone. Let's get into it. 